key part of, of HK's DNA has been that innovation. Um, and even when HK has followed whatever consumer trends were out there in calibers, they've kind of spun off and done things in their, in their own way um, uh, on the military side of the business. We plan to continue to do that. And I think on the consumer business, a great example of that is the VP9. You know, the, the trend now is with striker fired guns, not hammer fired guns. And that's where the, the volume of the handgun market is. And we just didn't just do a striker fired gun like everybody else. We tend to follow uh, trends and fashions within the firearms industry and improve on them and do it in an HK way um, that's within our DNA. And then we plan to white sheet some new products that, that solve problems in a very, very unique way that, that nobody else has ever thought of. So Bill, we're looking at the VP9 series of pistols, which uh, for me, I think this is one of the first like really strong commercial offerings for the US market from HK, just in that it is a, a pistol that is built to service grade. But especially in like the SK model that we have here, you can see that there are also some features that are gonna be really appealing to civilian shooters. One thing we did with the VP series came out, you know, is we really raised the bar on what a trigger on a striker fire gun should be. Yeah. This one's really, really crisp here. I mean, it's a beautiful trick. It's very crisp. The travel is shorter than what we're used to. Uh, the reset is shorter than what we're used to. And then the reset is actually tactile. You can feel that, that reset as it's resetting. Um, another part of the ergonomics is in the grip area. And one thing we've seen for several years now is the interchangeable back straps on the guns. That certainly is a valuable feature, but we decided to take that a step further because that's just the way we are. Right. <laughs> that's the way we're wired right. at HK, right? It's, now we have interchangeable side panels as well. Right, and there's another uh, kind of a minor detail, but it's, it's kind of interesting because it's a big help. And that's, you've kind of added these little fins to the back of the slide here. That's really important, especially for a lot of new shooters who haven't really been trained on how to properly manipulate these firearms. Having that extra, basically mechanical advantage simply built into the slide, it's a big help to really get a good grip and run that slide. The first handgun that HK ever developed was the HK4. It was designated for because it was available in four different calibers, 0 .22, 0 .25, 0 .32, and .380. A small pocket pistol, uh, again, that went into production in the mid to late 1960s. In the 1970s, we had the P9S, a very unique roller delay blowback system, the same operating system as the MP5. The P9S was available in both 9mm and .45 ACP. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.